Hi, I'm Dr. Chip Truitt, Chief of Radiology here at Hennepin County Medical Center and Chair of the American College of Radiology Committee on MR Accreditation. If you're watching this video, it's likely your doctor has ordered an MRI for you. You're about to experience one of radiology's most advanced technologies. MR imaging allows us to create extremely detailed and precise pictures. We can look at these snapshots of the inside of your body from almost any perspective, either as a whole structure, as in this view of a patient's brain, or as a single slice of a body part. With these views, we look for what belongs and what does not belong in the picture. Radiologists have a mental catalog of what normal looks like, and our job is to pick out what shouldn't be there. Unlike the CT scanner, which uses x-rays, the MRI uses electromagnetism. It's basically a very strong and powerful magnet. Let me just put my beeper there. The magnet's on all the time. And although the magnetic field is strongest by the exam table, it actually stretches all the way out here by the door. In order to ensure your safety, we follow very strict guidelines. Before ever entering the scanning room, we'll be asking you to remove any loose metal from your body. If you have any metal on, go ahead and take that off. I know you have body jewelry, remove all your body jewelry. Look what happens when we bring a set of metal keys into the MR suite. The magnet makes them defy gravity and fly up. Without the string, they'd fly straight into the magnet. And here's a tennis ball with metal beads inside. Again, it flies right into the scanner because the metal beads are ferromagnetic. I see you with a nose ring. For this reason, we're going to be asking you about metal implants, body piercings, and any welding experience you may have had. In fact, you'll be asked many questions several different times and by different personnel. This is all to help you search your memory for anything that could pose a problem in the MR suite. Are you sure you removed all the metal on you? Yes, I have. Okay. This is our way of double and triple checking that you are safe. We worry about metal for three main reasons. One, for flying objects, like I just showed you. Two, for burns from overheating. And three, for images that we just can't read due to the metal artifact. So we're gonna ask you about anything in your pockets, anything you may have tucked away, or anything that you wear every day that you might forget about. Oh, but it looks like we still have your hearing aids in. We'll need to remove those. There are some metals that may at first seem safe, meaning they won't fly through the room, but they form a ring-like structure and have the potential to heat up in the scanner. Also, we will ask you if you've ever been a welder or work with or ever have worked with metal, like many farmers and artists do. Even a tiny piece of metal lodged in your eye from a long time ago can pose a serious threat to your safety today. People often ask about joint replacements. These are generally safe. Plates and screws used to repair broken bones? These are generally safe. Brain aneurysm clips? Today, most are safe. But some of the older ones are not safe. For this reason, we will ask and ask and ask again about aneurysm clips. Other implants, such as pacemakers and defibrillators, are generally not safe. You'll also be asked about clothing with metal, such as bras with metal underwires and scarves with metal stitching. Do you have any pins, any metal in your hair and your headpiece? We need these removed prior to entering the MR scanner. Okay. Finally, some metals are an issue not because of safety, but because they can distort the magnetic field and they can make the images unreadable. Here's the brain image we were able to get of a patient with orthodontic braces. As you can see, the image is pretty distorted. The MR technologist will provide you with earplugs if you wish to minimize the noise, or headphones if you want to listen to music. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, here we go. Nowadays, the tunnel in most scanners is pretty short. Nevertheless, we do understand that some people have concerns about feeling uncomfortable or claustrophobic. We're here to help. We'll be talking to you through the intercom, and we can hear everything you say to us. An average scan is about 30 to 40 minutes. During the scan, it's really important that you try to hold very still. Even when things go quiet, 
it's important that you remain still the entire time. Okay, we're finished. You did it. Good job. The radiologist will study your MR images and then quickly report back to your doctor about what he or she sees on the scan. We're glad to have this incredible tool to help you and your doctor figure out what's going on inside. Remember, we're here to help you feel comfortable. If you have any questions, please ask.